suspects marching to jail. Caught in one of the largest drug busts ever. Three pounds of fentanyl. That is enough fentanyl to kill everyone in Brevard County. It's now off the streets along with nearly 50 people. That bus so big, the governor joined the sheriff to make the announcement. The news station's Mike Magnolia is live tonight. Mike. Charles and Luann, in some cases, the prosecutor can use a murder charge if there are fatal overdoses. And the sheriff and the governor say for some of these suspects, that option is on the table. Many of them are trying to hide their face. There's men. There's women. They're being loaded onto a bus heading for the Brevard County Jail. These are the suspects rounded up in a massive drug bust. More than 60 arrested. And look at the evidence. Fentanyl, wads of cash, weapons. And I will tell you that these individuals are motivated by one thing, and that is greed. And they're involved in a very lethal uh, enterprise. Brevard Sheriff Wayne Ivey and Governor Ron DeSantis, alongside of Attorney General Ashley Moody, holding a news conference to unveil the network of dealers and punctuating the urgent need to get them off the streets. Officials cited some alarming statistics. Every day in Florida, 17 people die from a fentanyl overdose. And nationwide, a third of all Americans know someone addicted to opioids. Not only are you probably causing multiple deaths, but then just the destruction that that does to communities. Each of you have seen the quantity of, of narcotics, over uh, almost three pounds of fentanyl. That is enough fentanyl to kill everyone in Brevard County. Wow, it's a lot of drugs. The sheriff says that some of the suspects have ties to other counties, and his deputies are working with other jurisdictions where that's necessary. Live well, how about that? And in, in all of all places that this happened in, in Florida, as in ratchet ass. Shout out to lovely T. So they busted all of these people who had enough fentanyl on them to wipe out an entire county. That's a lot of people. Like the a reporter said, that's a lot of drugs, but that's a lot of people that they could have taken out. Now, I don't know the demographic of that county. But that's a lot of people. Now, as you can see right here in this image, these are all the people that they call anyone who has like a, a like the little strip of paper across their face. That's who they caught in there. Now, some of them don't have theirs covered. I don't know, maybe because they haven't caught them yet. But that's a lot of people. They said it was about more than 60 people that they caught who had ties to this. And then they said there were people that have ties in other counties with this drug the only thing that makes me upset about this and i think you can all agree with me is the fact that they actually got caught before their plan could be wheeled out maybe next time next time try your hardest not to get caught but that's crazy they said in a in total 100 arrest warrants were issued for members of a criminal organization accused of distributing illicit drugs Enough fentanyl to kill every single resident in Brevard County. Under Florida law, drug dealers can be charged with murder if the, the overdoses are fatal. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> like, how do y'all expect me to feel about this? Because I don't feel any... Listen, I feel nothing. I just do. That's exactly what I feel. And this won't blow up in the main, or sorry, the lamestream media. This is a local, a local issue. I doubt CNN, MSNBC, or definitely not Fox News is going to talk about this. I know they're not. But it's so crazy because they love to throw everything on black people. Now, I do see in this image a couple, uh, like maybe one or two, maybe three black faces. I see one for certain. He's the fourth one on the top row from far from the left. Out of all the other individuals. But he doesn't have a strip of him, so maybe they didn't catch him yet. But. <laughs> hey. People, they, they got to get it how they live, I guess. But see, notice where, where they are headed. Like, notice where they are targeting. Mostly white predominant areas. 
this opioid plague, no matter how much money they throw into the research or no how much money they throw into getting that Narcan, this plague is going absolutely nowhere. Like they said, they are motivated by greed. As long as there's money to be made from this, they're not going to stop. As long as the big pharmaceutical companies the big pharmaceutical companies can make their money, they're not going to stop pumping this drug out. As long as the dealers can still make money um, dealing the drug, they're not going to stop pushing this drug. Basically, this drug has become a new cash cow. Like, I think this drug might be in higher demand than cocaine at this point. At this point, it almost seems like it's just as deadly. Because it's so many different strains of it. It's not just one. It's called opioids. Opioid is the umbrella. Under it, you have fentanyl, carfentanil, crocodile, heroin, and a host of other things. But that fentanyl, that fentanyl is like the golden goose one because that's the one you hear about the most. And don't get me started on that carfentanil. That's the, that's the elephant tranquilizer. Like, who would put something in them that could put down an elephant? An elephant that weighs a few tons versus your little old body that weighs a few hundred pounds. But it is what it is. It won't be the first and it won't be the last of a bust like this. They just said that this is the largest bust in this uh, in uh, that, that county's history. Let me tell you something right now. The way that this thing is looking, it will not be the last bust that they get from that county. And it probably will be the next one they get might be larger than it. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments, and I will talk to you in the next one.